2020, 2021. Uh, we got six games on the slate tonight. Uh, what I do is give you two guards, two forwards, one center, who I think are going to 5X, 6X, and if we're very lucky, 7X their salary. Let's get right into it for the day. At the point guard, we're looking at Marcus Smart for Boston. Philadelphia is at Boston tonight. Marcus seems to step up in the uh, big games. This is a big game on the schedule. His projection for tonight is 28. He's 5,500 on DraftKings. In his last three versus Philadelphia, he's at 24, 21, and 38. Let's look at his last three here. His last three, he's at 13, 40, 24. See, the 40 came against Golden State. Big game. Marcus seems to step up in the big game, so we'll see what happens tonight. But he is in a very good position tonight with Boston being a little shorthanded. Al Horford's out. Uh, I think Jalen Brown is back. Uh, but So Marcus gets to start tonight, and, we'll see, and we should expect big numbers from him tonight. Let's look at the... Shooting guard position. At shooting guard, we're looking at Damian Lee for Golden State. Uh, Jordan Poole's out tonight. Damian Lee's getting a start. He has a projection of 15. He had 19 in his last game. He's 3,800 on DraftKings. He's going against Sacramento, who's 29th versus shooting guard position. Uh, I think he gets us 20 fantasy points tonight against a bad defense in a starting position where his minutes will be up. Let's look at the small forward position. At small forward, we're going to stay with the Sacramento Golden State game, and we're going to look at Otto Porter Jr. 3,700 on DraftKings. Andrew Wiggins out. Jordan Poole out. Porter's juice usage should go up tonight, and we should see an uptick in fantasy points. Let's look at his last three. His last three has been 18, 17, and 9. He is projected 26 fantasy points for the night with a minute projection of 27. Uh, in my model, he's the fourth best small forward. That doesn't mean he's going to have the fourth most points out of the uh, small forwards, but you take everything into consideration, uh, salary, points, minutes, etc. cetera. Uh, he's the fourth best small forward in my projection for tonight. So, And he is definitely a value pick. So uh, Otto Porter Jr. is someone I'm looking at the small forward position. Let's look at the power forward position, and we're going to look at Royce O'Neal, Charlotte at Utah. Uh, O'Neal's projection on night is 21. He's 4,200 on DraftKings uh, against Charlotte. He's had 27, 15, 25 in his last three. Charlotte gives up the most points in the league. Utah scores the most points in the league. Expect this to be a very high-scoring game. Players getting out and running, which opens up the floor. I expect Royce O'Neal to reach his projection of 21, which I think he can get even higher than that, between 25 and 30 on the night. Let's look at uh, O'Neal's last three games. In his uh, last three, he's had 20, 23, 23, so he's pretty consistent. I like him in his position tonight to beat his projection and potentially uh, 6x his salary. Let's look at the center position. At center, we're looking at Robert Williams for Boston. He has a very high projection night of 34. He's 5,700 on DraftKings. Uh, he has a minute projection of 30. His last three against uh, Philadelphia has been 21, 17, 10. So if Robert Williams can stay out of foul trouble, I think he reaches his projection. But that's the key. Sometimes he gets in foul trouble in these big games against these great centers. Very high projection tonight. 34, to me, is a stretch. Mm -hmm. uh, but I... Several places have him projected that, and I'm going to go with that. So the key is Williams have to stay out of foul trouble. Let's look at his last three overall. His last three has been 30, 22, 24. So I like Williams at the center position tonight. Let's do a little brief little recap here. Marcus Smart, point guard, going against Philly. Marcus Smart steps up in the big games. It's projected 28. I think he gets that tonight. Damian Lee starting in place of Jordan Poole for Golden State. Projection of 15 tonight. I think he gets up us around 20 fantasy points tonight. Otto Porter Jr. Uh, with the lat with Wiggins not being in lineup, you can see an uptick in his usage and his minutes. Uh, projection of 26. 
If he gets 26 on a $3,700 salary, it's a win-win for everybody. So, hey, I like Otto Porter Jr. tonight. Royce O'Neal in a Charlotte team that's ranked 22nd versus the uh, power forward position in a game that's potentially can have a lot of points scored. I like Royce O'Neal in an open court game that like this. Uh, at center, we're looking at Robert Williams, who has a very high projection tonight of 34, which to me, I do think it may be a little of a stretch. But if he can get there, and he can, will get there probably if he doesn't get in foul trouble, and he's going to be on court when Embiid is on the court, I think Williams is in a good position tonight to uh, get us uh, to project it. 34 fantasy points. So if my picks help you, go ahead and hit that like button. If you haven't subscribed to my channel, go ahead and subscribe to my channel. Uh, until the next video, that's all I have for today. Peace.